Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I thought it would be the perfect time to do like kind of a fun Valentine's Day look. I just feel like we're hanging out as girlfriends. I'll probably share some fun facts about Matt and I and our relationship. Just the perfect festive Valentine's get ready with me. But first, before we start getting ready, I wanted to share with you guys that I've partnered with Ana Luisa on today's video. If you have been around for a while, you know I love their pieces so much. I've talked about them, raved about them for so long. Like if you ever see me wearing earrings 100% of the time, they're gonna be Ana Luisa. These are their Suzanne Huggy Hoops. I like never take them off. And then these are their Celeste Huggy Hoops. So there's a little moon and a star. My mom, and my aunt have these. Does my sister have these? Like I've turned my whole family onto Ana Luisa because they have such good pieces. So I got some new pieces in today to share with you. They are running a Valentine's Day sale right now and it's 15% off everything. I'll have my link down in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. So let me show you what I picked out from them. So I picked out this gold twist ring. I think it is just stunning and I've been super into like stacking and mixing and matching metals and just like super into rings lately. And then I also picked out this gold band ring. It's very simple. It'll go with everything. And I also picked out these hoop earrings. So they kind of like wrap around your ear, but I think they're like the perfect earring if you have multiple piercings. So what I love about Ana Luisa is that they're long lasting pieces and they have a 365 day warranty to replace or refund any piece that like doesn't match your expectations. If they have confidence in their products, they use the best noble metals. And the other great thing about Ana Luisa is that they are sustainable. So they offset 100% of their carbon emissions, starting with the sourcing of their raw materials all the way to the disposal of their pieces. You're going to find beautiful pieces that start from $39. So again, I will have my link down in the description box. Definitely take advantage of this sale. Whether you're treating yourself or someone else, you are going to find something that you love. So now it's time to get ready. I am going to put on my foundation. I've been loving the Tarte Found Sealer. I have it in the shade 27N, light, medium, neutral. It's a very like dewy foundation and I just feel like it's super hydrating. Um, you guys know I'm not even like a huge fan of foundation, but I like fell in love with this one. It is just so pretty. So I'm gonna actually use a sponge today. I haven't used a sponge to get ready in quite some time, but I kind of want to go for like a fresh, dewy kind of face today. So we do not have any Valentine's Day plans. Um, I think it's on a Sunday, so Matt will have the day off. But I don't know if we're going to like cook at home or order takeout or maybe go on a date night. I don't know. We'll just kind of see how we feel that weekend. We've never really done anything too crazy for Valentine's Day ever. I think our first Valentine's Day together, we went to the Melting Pot, which is like that fondue place. And it was straight up like out of a Valentine's Day movie where there were like balloons everywhere and rose petals and heart confetti like what you would see in the movies that was our first valentine's day and while it was super cute and super fun we just i don't know we don't do that anymore so i honestly would love to just like have a game night or go and like get pizza or something so nothing too crazy nothing too fancy so my foundation is on i love the way that this applied with a sponge just because I feel like it kept it nice and dewy and not too heavy. If I keep looking over here, I'm looking at the mirror. Um, so now I'm gonna pop on some concealer. This is the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and I have it in light beige. So if you guys don't know, Matt and I met at a party in 2000. I don't even know. It's been a while. It was our friend Mike's party. And I don't even know. I think we said hi to each other. I'm not sure how that really happened. It was just in passing. And then he found me on Facebook. Or it might have been MySpace. Like that's how long ago this was. And he asked 
me to hang out but the timing wasn't right i was kind of seeing someone and i was also moving to london for an internship like very soon after that so nothing happened then i think we met 12 years ago and then we didn't start dating until nine years ago but after we met and nothing happened we still stayed friends but i remember like things just started becoming flirty between us like flirty friendship and then i remember we hung out um one night at a bar with like two of our other friends and had just so much fun and then he went on tour and like things were definitely flirty through our texts and then he was in australia and sent me flowers for my birthday which i thought was so sweet and then i was like okay i think he likes me and then he got back from that tour and we went on a date the night he was picking me up for our date i was in my apartment just like hyperventilating on the phone with my girlfriend kelly and i took like a shot of fireball to calm my nerves and then we went on our date and the rest is history next i'm going to go in with this physician's formula it's like a sculpting bronzer this is in the color mocha i was like on a powder kick for a bit and then i went back to my tried and true cream products so i'm kind of using this to contour my face anyways our first date was so much fun I mean, both of us don't really remember that much about it because we were just having a lot of drinks, but it was still just so much fun. We went to Boulders in Tempe. I used to go there all the time because um, they would have like trivia nights and it was just so much fun going with my girlfriends, but Matt and I went for our first date and had a blast. I feel like after that first date, I was just like, yeah, this is the one. Like, this is gonna work out. I had never, like, felt that way for anyone. Not that, like, confident. So, the fact that I felt that, it was, like, exciting, but also scary. Because I was like, what if he doesn't feel the same way? But, he did. And I think after that first date, we hung out every single day for 30 days until he had to go on his next tour. Things moved very quickly between us um after we started dating we moved in together uh like three months into dating and i used to say all the time when i was younger i am never gonna move in with someone unless we are like engaged or married that was just like how i thought things went so how we moved in so quickly how that came about was he had just bought a house and I was helping him move in and like paint and stuff. Before I finish that story, I'm using the Rare Beauty blush in Joy. This is so pretty. It's just like the most gorgeous blush ever. It's pigmented and it just makes your face look so dewy and fresh and blushed. But anyways where was i um so he was moving into his house and i was helping him paint and like wow that's very pigmented <laughs> so i was helping him paint and move things in and stuff and then he was like why don't you just move it and i was like okay sure so that's that's what i did <laughs> that night i think like we made several trips from our new house back to my apartment like all through the night and moved in the majority of my stuff i remember telling my mom and my sister that we were moving in together and i thought for sure they were going to be like you're crazy and like tell me not to but the fact that they were like yeah that is so exciting do it that just like gave me all the reassurance that i needed that this was like the right choice i don't know it just felt right and it and it was clearly like it's nine years later and we are married and have a new house and we have our kids and we still have our adorable little dogs who became a family when when we got together so it's just kind of crazy how things work out that way so i definitely wanted to go the dewy fresh face route but i feel like i'm just talking and not paying attention to what i'm doing and i feel like i'm glowing from the inside out you could see me from space might be a little too much um i didn't mention what 
highlight I'm using. It's the Cover FX um, Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Sunlight. This highlight is insane. If you guys can't tell, it just like is intense but so beautiful. Also, within a couple months of dating, we talked about like kids' names. And you guys, the kids' names we had back then are the names we have for our kids now, Jackson and Quinn. Anyways, I'm moving on to brows now. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Wax. It's their Shape and Stay Brow Pencil. And I just love it so much. So I just kind of put this onto my brows first before I add any product. And then I'll go in with my spoolie and kind of like brush the wax through i just love this wax so much it just makes your brows super fluffy kind of like that soap brow effect or that like brow lamination effect which i loved so much you guys can see how fluffy they look so once i have them kind of brushed up then i'll use my pencil to just fill in a little bit this is the nyx micro brow pencil in ash brown it's my go-to brow pencil it is amazing so i just do like hair like strokes in this part of my brow and then just very 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 lightly fill in the other spaces i'm kind of going for a lighter more natural brow look lately and i just love it it's so simple i feel like that wax just makes such a difference where you don't have to fill them in a bunch let's put on some mascara i'm back to using my carbon black mascara from l'oreal i love this mascara so much it was my like tried and true for so long let me think of some other fun facts like quick facts i think the first movie we ever went to on a date was the dictator with Sasha Baron Cohen. The restaurant we frequented the most probably um, was Mellow Mushroom. We love that place. We haven't gone in quite some time actually. Some of my favorite memories with Matt are when I would fly out to the East Coast Warp Tour and we would just have so much fun. It was like such a different life. Um, we, he would play his shows and then we would be kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we would just like hang out at the malls or go to Applebee's, eat dinner and have cocktails. Or we'd go see like two movies in one day because there was nothing really else to do. Sometimes we'd go and watch other bands, but for the most part we would just go to Applebee's and hang out at the mall. We would sleep together in one little bunk on their tour bus. I don't know how I did that because I can be a little bit claustrophobic. So the fact that I slept in a little bunk with him, I don't, I must have really loved him. I'm going to go in with my Lancome Definicials Mascara. This is, I use two. This, the other one's like really thick and volumizing and lengthening and then this one just like declumps everything and lengthens even more um what's another fun fact fun fact fun fact the song i walked down the aisle to was from this moment by shania twain oh my gosh it was on uh strings i had a string quartet that song on strings is so beautiful and i remember walking down the aisle i was walking so fast because I was so nervous, I was walking by myself and I just wanted to like get there and not fall and I also wanted to get to Matt, but I remember my sister was like, slow down, slow down. I was basically like sprint sprinting down the aisle to Matt. And then the song that we uh, walked down the aisle after our first kiss was the Star Wars song, the Star Wars theme song on the string quartet and it was like the coolest thing ever. So I think my face is done. I'm like really happy with how it turned out. It is definitely fresh faced and dewy and just kind of natural. I love that foundation, love the concealer, love the contour, love the blush. All the cream products just give you like a hydrated young look, which I appreciate. Since the rest of my face is like on the simple side, I guess, I'm going to do a red lip. I love a red lip with just like a more 
neutral face. So this is the color Spicy by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is just like the perfect fire engine red. It's so pretty. And it stays on pretty well. I forgot to put on lip liner. That always helps. I'm just gonna have to put it on after. This is um, the color True Red by Milani. That's my Valentine's Day look. I think it is very glowy, dewy, hydrated. I think I've said those words so much during this Get Ready With Me, but that is how I would describe this look and that's how I love doing my makeup. I haven't done a red lip in so long, but I felt like it was perfect for Valentine's Day. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out and getting ready with me and hearing some fun things about Matt and I. It was fun reminiscing and it felt like I was talking to my girlfriend. So thank you for hanging around. Um, I've got red lipstick like all over me. Make sure you guys check out my link down below for Anna Luisa and their Valentine's Day sale. I think you will love their stuff as I have said many times before. Have a very happy Valentine's Day no matter what you're doing. If you are single, dating, married, whatever it is, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye! I guess it never hit you, our conversation